I just received a DC to DC battery charger. What this does, it goes in between the alternator and your house batteries. So your alternator does not overcharge your batteries continuously. So this should regulate the charge. And this is my battery compartment. It has the hydraulic pump in there, the batteries. So I'm gonna see if I can install the Renergy right here. I gotta move some stuff. I'm gonna move all these wires over and make some space in that corner right here. And I think that's where I wanna install it. That way it gets in between the alternator and the batteries. I also have a capacitor on my RV as well. Kind of helps with the load. Helps, helps uh, protect the battery from any hard start load. So let's see if we can fit this somewhere in here. I think what I'm going to do is move this over to right here. That ground, probably try to move it somewhere here. And I should have enough space to mount that battery, DC to DC battery charger. I got it mounted. Now that I got it mounted, I can cut the wires. I'll cut them. I'll measure them. And I got these um, cable ends. I'm going to put on the end of the cable. I'll use uh, the punch to uh, get it tied on, get it crimped on, I mean. So let's start doing that. Perfect. So I'll make the cables. I'm going to need four of them. And we'll go from there. All right, gonna make the second cable. So what we need to do is find out where the 14 volts from the alternator comes in to the house batteries. And that's right here. So this cable right here is where 14 volts, that's the alternator, that's where your 14 volts comes in. So I need to get this wire to the input side on the charger, and then output side from the charger need to come back on, on to the batteries. So that's what we're going to do. Alright, I need to tighten that wire down. There you go. And this wire goes for the control.
so now I'm gonna run that control wire around. This is the one that should turn everything on. There you go. I think that's it. Okay, so I got everything installed. The charger is back here. You have the output coming on top. Going to the breaker. Then back to the battery. The input side comes from the alternator. It goes through a breaker. into the charger so now my alternator has 14.1 volts coming in but it's only outputting 13.5 to my batteries and then it will shut down when the battery is charged fully charged now I won't have to damage my batteries on long trips where the alternator just keeps on charging it now this charge controller will control everything. Awesome. Alright, so now that everything's installed and the bus is running, the RV is running, there's 14.1 coming out from the alternator. The charger is on. Everything's working. Charging at 13.2. So it's full and it's been it's probably in float mode right now. That's awesome. Very good. Alright guys. This was the installation of the Renogy DC to DC battery charge controller. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.